Hey everybody, how'd you like to increase your automated workflow? By using something called Zapier. That's what we're talking about in this video. So let's get started. Now, if you're not familiar with Zapier, it's been around for quite a while. It basically takes an existing process that you have and automates it through what they call actions and triggers and it puts it into a workflow system so it will output something on the other end. Now that sounds like a complicated process, but Zapier makes it very, very easy. So the best way to document how you exactly do this is to show you uh, a couple of great examples. Zapier is a freemium platform. So when you sign up, you'll get a 14 day trial and you can use all of the premium features that Zapier comes with. After the 14 days, you can stay on the free plan and you can have up to five zaps that, uh, that are at your disposal. So I'm on the free plan. I've been using Zapier off and on. Uh, I wanted to start kind of fresh here to give you a, a good perspective if you're just starting out with Zapier. And so uh, some of the things that I used to be doing are no longer here, but I'm still connected to a, a few of the social networks that I was using it for. So let's just get started and looking at the entire interface here that we have. So in the Explore tab, I would have to say there's probably at least I don't know, a couple of hundred options here that you can go through and pick some of these things I haven't even heard of, uh, like real Volve and a pointlet. And so it has a ton of applications that you can connect your zaps to. I'm gonna keep it kind of basic, but feel free to go through here and, and pick the ones that you know will increase your automation workflow. Now, some of these you'll notice are premium, which means you'll have to obviously pay to get them unlocked. But there are at least a couple hundred that are free for you to use for up to your, your five zaps. So uh, you can sort them by popular, alphabetical, and recently added. And then there's your premium again. Then we go into the zaps tab, and this is where all your zaps would live. You have drafts, and then you have active drafts, or sorry, active zaps and your drafts and then you can go into your task history and it will show you all of your uh, zaps at work and then your last tab is connected accounts and again i have quite a few that are connected and as you go through your automation workflow you'll have to connect your account so that zapier can talk to both ends of whatever you're trying to do for your automation workflow okay all right, let's start making some zaps. So we'll go over to the Explore tab. And I've uh, selected YouTube in this list, and they've given me some popular zaps for YouTube. Now, this is probably the easiest way to make some zaps, or you could go into the button up at the top here to click on Make a Zap and do something a little bit more manually, more granular. But uh, I like this one down here. It says, post YouTube videos from users to Facebook. Now this is an interesting choice. So let's see, we're gonna click on use this zap and it explains a little bit what this does. And we're gonna click on create this zap. And the right here, it says new video, trigger when a new video is uploaded by a specific YouTube username. So it can be any username. Click continue, connect a YouTube account. I'll do that one. Click allow. Test, save and continue. So you do have to connect your YouTube account, but not necessarily do you have to put in your username for what to uh, add to Facebook, which is rather interesting. So I could type in any username here. So I think Social Media Examiner is a pretty good choice. So I'm gonna copy their username up here, and I'm gonna go over to our zap here and paste it in, and click Continue. I'm gonna fetch and continue. All right. Now we're gonna click our uh, continue here and connect our Facebook account. So it's gonna create a new page post. 
connect our YouTube, uh, connect our Facebook account. Okay. Save and continue. Now it's going to ask you what page do you want to post this on. So we'll select Security Marketing Solutions. And their latest one was Twitter Cracks Down on Twitter Bots and Automation. And this is the link. And we'll click Continue. And we will send a test. No, we will skip the test for now. And we'll click Finish. The zap is on. We've got our zap is working. And we can see it on our dashboard. So here it is right here. And we can uh, click Run. We can edit it. We can rename it. Can see what the task history is. So let's go over to task history. We don't have any task history yet. All right, let's go back to explore. Let's do something with WordPress. What are our choices here for popular apps? There you go. How about this one? Buffer your WordPress posts. We'll use this zap. It'll tell you again how it works. We'll create the zap. So any new post, we'll create an account. Yes, and continue. OK, let's test that out. Save and continue. Continue. All right, let's fetch and continue. All right, click continue again. Now let's add our buffer. Connect our account. Allow access. Test, make sure we have a good connection. Good to go, save and continue. All right, then we select our profile. Where do we want this uh, post to go out? What account? So we'll do, um, We'll do Twitter. And the last one that went out was JotForm Online Form Builder Tutorial. So we will click Continue on that. And send test a buffer if we want, or we could just skip the test, which we will, and click Finish. So now that that zap is on, anytime a new Anytime a new post, WordPress post, gets uh, put up on Security Marketing Solutions, LarrySnow.me, it will go up to Buffer, and then it will be scheduled out to go out on through my Twitter account. Pretty cool. So I highly recommend Zapier. Uh, some of the uh, like uh, Active Campaign, Active Campaign, and Convert Fit, Convert Kit. I know that they recommend Zapier to make those connections happen from like a WordPress me membership type of situation going into Active Campaign or Convert Kit. Patreon is another example where they're using Zapier to make uh, more engagement and more uh, important workflows to uh, enable uh, patron or Patreon. Patreon and patrons of your Patreon to uh, get more uh, engagement that way through the use of Zaps. So I highly recommend Zapier, free to check out. You can go to zapier.com for more information. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. For more information about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.